Hey YouTuber, welcome to the fifth edition of uh, how to create a hack lab uh, for pen testing. Um, that way you could, um, you know, hack around and pen test in a safe environment. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to tie all the uh, virtual box together. Uh, that way uh, they're speaking to each other, but not talking to the outside world. So here we go. Um, I got all of my virtual box that uh, we installed in the previous video uh, up right now. You haven't seen those. Uh, go back to uh, part one where uh, I show you how to uh, where to get the downloads and um, and and how to um, install them uh, in in the following videos um, after that. So after the first one, but this is the the fifth video, and this I'm going to show you how to tie it all together. So. Um, now, depending on your computer, your host computer, um, and how much RAM you're running, you might not want to open up all of the virtual box at once because of resources on your host machine. Um, it's going to dramatically um, slow your computer down. So, uh, you know, just kind of uh, kind of a caveat for you. Um, uh, just make sure you got enough resource to open up all your instance on your virtual box. Um, otherwise, you know, you can always do it one at a time. So. What we're going to do first is um, go ahead and open up your Kali Attacker box, which is this one right here. And what we're going to do is uh, configure the IP address so that's organized um, and um, you can you know which uh, box uh, you would be um, using based on the IP address. So let's start. Um, let me go ahead and sign in. Oops. All right, here we go. Uh, so this particular instance is uh, doesn't have the guest edition installed so uh, I would recommend you installing the guest edition if you don't know how just kind of search through my library and uh, I should have a video out there on how to uh, install the guest edition uh, since it's it's uh, you know it's not streamed in where uh, it's easily configurable so I do have a video out there that will show you how to get around that and install the the guest edition so there we go let's go ahead and start configuring the IP address for uh, the Kali attacker so what you want to do is scroll down to the easiest thing is just scroll down here to show application and um, go up to this little type to search and just type in network and it's this little folder icon right here this will pop up um, you should have two icon popping up. Go ahead and go to your wired icon. Even though I'm on Wi-Fi and this is a virtual instance, it's picking it up as a wired um, uh, connection. So just go ahead and, if it's not turned on, just go ahead and turn it on right there. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. And uh, go ahead and add profile. And go to your IPv4. Um, make sure you turn your IPv6 off. We won't be using that. Um, we'll be using the IPv4 for right now. Uh, so um, go to your IPv4 and then it should say automatic up here. Just go ahead and go to manual and type in an IP address. Let's go ahead and you know type in any one you want but make sure that you remember which one is assigned to your Kali attacker box. So for this particular one I'm just going to go ahead and call it uh, uh, 192.168.0. Let's say 50. Well, actually let's say 70. Um, tap to your network net mass and just go ahead and type in 255 dot 255.255.0 and uh, that should do it uh, just go ahead and put add and uh, go back in this direction and go to your IPv4 and it should say um, the IP address that you entered 
Um, again, IPv6 is turned off. Go ahead and press apply. And that should do it for that one. So that one is uh, 192.168.0.70. All right, so let's go ahead and go to uh, the Ubuntu box, which is this one um, down here. Let's move that out of the way. Um, the guest edition is uh, pretty easy for this one. I think you just uh, go ahead and click install guest edition and restart, and it should give you the full screen. So. Um, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. So let's go ahead and install this one. Um, let's see. Go ahead and press this little icon here uh, for system setting. And uh, network should be, there it is. Click on network. Uh, and it's the same thing as Kali. It's kind of almost the same setup uh, where you see wired right here. Just go ahead and um, make sure it's on. And... Uh, go to options all right so uh, again IPv6 let's go ahead and turn that turn that off and let's go to IPv4 make sure it's on manual and click add and just type in your address right here so this one let's just go ahead and call it um, 190 192.168.0. Point, let's call it 80. Um, tab over to uh, NetMass, and I don't know what that 24 is there, but just go ahead and type in 255.255.255.0 and uh, leave your gateway uh, empty. Um, and go ahead and save it. Oh, uh, make sure you click on require IPv4 address for this connection to complete uh, and press save. Uh, go back in there. Make sure it's save. Yep, there it goes. All right. Um, and go ahead and get out of there. Now let's go to um, the Windows uh, Server 2012 box that we installed earlier. And um, go ahead and go to your Windows icon here and your control panel. Uh, where, and then it should be under Network and Internet. Um, and just click uh, View Network Status and Tasks. Um, and then go ahead and click Ethernet right here. And or we can just go to change adapter setting. And there it is, Ethernet. Left click and go to property. Right click and go to property, I'm sorry. Alright, there it is. Uh, go ahead and turn off IPv6. Uh, go to your IPv4 down here and double click on it. Um, click on uh, use the following IP address and let's go ahead and call this one one whoops got to turn on my numlock 192.168.0 and uh, let's go ahead and call this one dot 90 subnet mass is uh, going to be 255.255.255 just defaults to that and uh, go ahead and press OK. Uh, I would go back in there to make sure it's saved. Yep. Go ahead and press OK. Skip out of that. Now um, you're going to need to reboot so just go ahead and um, don't reboot it but just go ahead and power out of um, when you're done just power keep keep your machine off because we'll have to make some change on actual virtual box manager let's go ahead and shut down let's go ahead and shut down all of them
All right, let's go back into um, VirtualBox Manager. Now that we configured all the IP address and you know what each one of them are so that you can practice some of your pen testing uh, that I'll show you later on in other newer videos, but um, go ahead and um, go ahead and highlight, let's go ahead and highlight the Kali Attacker Box first and go to Settings. Now you need to go to a network here uh, to make this work. So uh, remember before when I told you to go ahead and, and keep it at bridge adapter because we had to upgrade and update. Uh, let's go ahead and change that now to uh, internal network. So this is gonna be in the internal network where the only computer that's gonna be talking are the ones that you created. They're gonna be talking to each other. Uh, so it won't touch the outside world. Go ahead and press okay. Uh, go to Windows and do the same things. The Windows Server 2012. Click Setting. Go to Network, uh, and there it is. Enter uh, in, in, internal network. Uh, you can change the name here if you want for all your instance to whatever you want. Just make sure they're the same. Um, so once that change is done, go ahead and press OK. And now go to Ubuntu Target Machine settings network and um, again I think I told you to keep it on bridge adapter so you can touch the outside world before but now we want to create an internal network uh, where the only computers talking is the ones that um, that you created so uh, go ahead and press OK um, so um, one other thing I'll probably show you guys in this in a, in a different video but uh, you can also make clones of these machines so you don't have to go through the whole installation process again uh, but um, I'll say that for another time so now that you configure your IP address and also you change the uh, the network adapter to be an internal network um, let's go ahead and power up the Kali attacker box um, you can power them up two at a time if you want but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and power up all of mine Go ahead and start there. Power up my Windows box. And power up my Ubuntu box. All right, so uh, this might take a, a minute or two. Uh, so I'm gonna fast forward through this. All right. I'm back guys um, okay so I have uh, all of my um, virtual instance uh, populated or uh, started up and uh, just a reminder um, I create this little thing here the Ka our Kali attacker box um, we set up the IP address of uh, 192.168.0.70 Ubuntu ended in 80 and uh, Windows Server 2012 R2 was uh, ended at 90 so uh, let's go back in and make sure our configuration uh, was correct. So let's go ahead and go to uh, our Kali attacker box first and um, open up our terminal. So let's go here and just click terminal. It's usually one of the first uh, options to choose from. And for Kali or uh, for Linux, it's IF config. Uh, okay, there you go. 170 sub uh, what net mass of uh, 255.255.255. So that's good. So we're okay there. Uh, so the next one is Ubuntu, which ends in 80. So let's go to Ubuntu. Um, in Ubuntu, you can you can click uh, Control Alt T to open up the terminal and uh, it's Linux so it's going to be IF config and there you go um, IP address would be uh, 192.168.0.80 um, let's go ahead and close that out and the next one is your Windows Server 2012 R2 which is ends in 90 so let's go there, make sure that's correct. All right, uh, you can click this, you can use PowerShell. Um, 
instead of the uh, normal um, command window. Um, and for Windows, it's, it's IP config, not IF config, so IP config. And voila, there you go. So all of our instance are now talking to each other. Um, we're not, oh, actually, we haven't gotten there yet, but all of our instance are configured with the right with a uh, IP address that's um, organized so that you can keep uh, track of uh, which box you're you're going to be uh, scanning or uh, enumerating or whatever the case you'll be doing later uh, but um, it's going to be in your own environment so um, let's go ahead and go to um, the Kali attacker box now and what our terminal is still open if it isn't open open up your terminal and um, oh to clear out your screen just type in clear by the way um, and uh, we want to make sure that uh, we can get um, information uh, from uh, the Windows box and the Ubuntu box. So let's just go ahead and do a quick ping. So uh, let's ping 192.168.0.1.1 whoops, 192 um, so the next one was 80 for Windows. So let's see if that is talking. Alright, so looks like that is good. We're getting uh, packets back so um, sounds good so that one's good so Kali is talking to your uh, Windows box so to stop the ping just press control Z and it stops it on Kali now the next one would be oh I'm sorry we just did uh, Ubuntu not Windows Server so our Ubuntu connection is good so um, uh, our Kali is box is is talking to our Ubuntu box, so that's good. Uh, since we're getting packets back here, now let's go ahead and ping uh, from Kali to Windows Server 2012, which is .dot uh, ninety. So if you press the up arrow, it will populate what the last command was. Go ahead and backspace and type in ninety. All right. So there you go, folks. Uh, looks like uh, all the machines are talking to each other. Go ahead and press Control Z to stop the ping, or or it'll just keep going on and on. So now you basically have a, a hack lab, um, something that's um, not going to touch the outside world. Actually, let's go ahead and test that and uh, make sure that um, we are not talking to uh, the outside world. So let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead and just ping yahoo.com or something there we go um, name of service not known so we cannot touch the outside world uh, there you go so now you have a uh, virtual hack lab that's um, internal and can only talk to each other and uh, cannot talk to the outside world so this is going to be a good environment for you guys to uh, do your pen testing in um, and um, and not get in trouble so um, you know I can't uh, say this enough you know try to play safe um, and 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 not get into trouble so uh, this is the perfect environment for you guys to play around in. Um, let's see do I need to mention anything else oh oh yeah so um, to make things a little bit more easier I think my next tutorial maybe the, the second and next tutorial I'll create a tutorial on how to create um, clone um, on your instance that that way you don't have to keep uh, installing these instance and it takes forever so you can actually create clones and for example change out the um, services on let's say a Windows Server 2012 box um, to Telnet and the other one could be uh, SSL or something like that if you want to um, you know hack around with that so basically that's it I appreciate you guys watching if you like the video go ahead and subscribe and um, and click like um, otherwise I'll see you in the next tutorial take it easy